The Surrey National is next then. This is three miles and four furlongs, 0 to 130. And at the top we've got Quake for Paul Rhodes. Manic Monday, Padraig Hogan, Ride on Q, David Hooley, Flynn's Bullet, Martin Leadham, Molly Awesome, Alex Cherry, Boomerang and Marne. Graham Clutterbuck, Glenn Fire, Fred Lott for Alex Cherry, Teal Storm, Graham Clutterbuck, Lord Cal, Padraig Hogan, Wizard, Martin Leadham, Another Way, Obi-Wan and Barbican Grove for Stu Gray. Now, Twelve of them men in this Surrey National, one of the shorter nationals, just three mile four, and away they go. And they start off racing downhill towards the first, it's a short run to the first, and they've all successfully got over it. Twenty more to take then. And Glen Fire Fred Lot and Quake are oh, disputing the leaders. They get to the second, and they're all safely over the second field, separated by no more than six lengths. And they're going to race into this third, really tightly packed. And they get over that one nicely with Flynn's Bullet, maybe just in the lead from Manic Monday as they come up past the stand here. And then they'll swing off left handed for another couple of circuits, and Flynn's Bullet. He's in the lead. So Flynn's bullet then settled down in front for a manic Monday in second. In another way, wide on the track, he's third. In comes Lord Kay, Lord Cole, Lord Cal, and then Teal Storm. And towards the back of the field, Wizard and Boomerang and Marne are just sharing back spot at the moment. But it's Flynn's bullet who's taking them along in the lead. From Manic Monday second, and then Barbican Grove is third. Lord Cal on the outside of that one, and then Teal Storm in another way. Quake is after that. And Wizard and Boomerang and Marne still bringing up the rear. There's a long way to go yet. A long one to the next fence. And Flynn's bullet has opened up by four now. Four or five even as they get into the fourth. Dropped it a little bit slowly though, and the horse in second. Manic Monday made a pretty dreadful looking mistake as well, so sort of slowed the pace down a bit as they get into the fifth and Flynn's bullet went right through that one again I'll have to brush up on his jump in that one if he's going to play a part in the finish Quake has moved through back into second as they take the sixth and that time Flynn's bullet jumped it much nicer so to the Manic Monday on the inside who's back in second again Quake in the purple with the lime green sleeves is third as they get to this ditch well, that one they go they're all safely over that one Wizard is now the back marker on his own so the commentators stable Top and tails the field at the moment, then Flint's bullying in the lead from Manic Monday second, Lord Cal is third, then Quake is back in fourth, and on the inside is Barbican Grove. The Grand Clutterbuck Bear and next Teal Storm and Boomerang and Martin, that one's made a bit of ground. And on the outside running widest is Obi Wan's Another Way as they get into fence number eight, and they're all safely over that one. They jump in. And one or two errors, but nothing too serious so far as they get to this ditch. They're all safely over that one. It's all they're not, as Teal Storm's gone. So as soon as I start mentioning that the jumping's been okay, something falls. So Graham Clutterbuck will no doubt be sticking pins in a little effigy of me if he's got one. And it's Flynn's bullet. I don't know why he would have one, but anyway. Flynn's bullet's in the lead from Lord Cal in second. Manic Monday's in third. Then Quake on the outside is fourth. Then comes Barbican Grove and Boomerang and Marne right on cues after that one. Then Molly Awesome, Grimfly, Fred Locker too. Alex Cherry stable mates together with Wizard still the back marker on the inside, but no more than a dozen lengths or so off his stable mate who continues to lead. So Flynn's bullet then we're inside the final two miles now. And racing downhill towards the next fence. And Flynn's bullet is clear. Of the Patrick Hogan pair are second and third. As they get over the next hands a fall and then it's another one for Graham Clutterbuck gone, so boomerang and Marne's gone. So both of Graham Clutterbuck's horses are out of this one as they get to the 11th and they're all safely over that little ones that remain and 10 that are left in it and it's Flint's bullet who takes this next one in the lead from Lord Cal in second and then right on Q's jumped up nicely into third then Manic Monday and Barbican Grove Quakers after that another way is getting significantly closer Glen Fry, Fred Lott and Molly Awesome and Wizard are not that far away as they come past the stand and past the winning post again and go out on their final circuit then there with Flynn's bullet clearing the lead by six to Quake in second and right on Q third. Lord Cal is four and Barbican Grove is five. Manic Monday is six and another way seven. Molly also is eight and Glen Fry Fred Lot nine. And Wizard is just the tail end Charlie at this point. But it's Flynn's bullet who's in the lead. Flynn's bullet then five lengths clear of Quake who's now 
trying to pull away from the rest of them in second. Barbican and Grove going with him though in third, also covering that run is right on cue. On the inside, Lord Cal still there, Manic Monday just behind that one another way. He is still widest on the track, but no more than four horse widths wide as Quake makes a mistake at number 13, just as he was getting a bit closer to the leader. So Flynn's bullet retains that three or four length lead then after Quake's mistake, and Quake was a bit slow over that one as well. Barbican Grove already in third, then Manic Monday and right on cue another way on the outside. These uh, just a, pulling about two or three lengths clear of the Alex Cherry pair and there was a mistake there by Glen Fly Fredlot as Wizard comes up on his inside to potentially relegate him to last but at the business end of the race the leader has now been joined by Quake so Flynn's brought it and Quake together with Barbican Grove just tucked in behind him in third and Quake might be the leader there as they're well inside the final mile and Quake it's probably about a neck up from Flynn's bullet who's just been shook up by the jockey on the inside. Then comes Barbican Grove back in third. Another way is fourth. Then comes Manic Monday right on cue. And then Molly Awesome was making significant looking progress as well. As they take the 17th. And that time it was Quake who's a clear leader by length. To Flynn's bullet in second. Barbican Grove on the inside. Another way making steady progress as they get over that ditch. They're all over that one okay. Quake now settled down into a lead by length. To Flynn's bullet on the inside second. Then comes another way. And Barbican Grove. Manic Monday now being driven up on the inside. And also on the outside. Right on cue makes his move as well. Suddenly the complexion of the race changes. And now they're racing in earnest with just four and a half furlongs to go. And Manic Monday has come through to snatch the lead. It's Manic Monday then who takes it up from on the inside. Quake right on cue. He's next Flynn's bullet starts to be the retreat Barbican Grove still trying to run on so too's another way on the inside Lord Kai's trying to get going as well but it's Manic Monday who's gone on Manic Monday is two lengths clear racing down towards the third last fence then in the Surrey National and Manic Monday is two lengths clear of right on cue in second there's a gap of three then to Quake and Barbican Grove and Lord Kai over the third last they go and it's Manic Monday Manic Monday two to three clear of right on cue in second these two are clear of the rest of them as they get to the second last and a good jump by the leader Manic Monday a mistake by right on cue and suddenly Manic Monday six lengths clear and Manic Monday looking like he's only got a jump the final fence gets over it nicely and Manic Monday is well clear Barbican Grove is trying to run on Wizard was a forward at the last but it's Manic Monday who's going to take the Surrey National in pretty impressive fashion and up towards the line it's a Manic Monday from right for Badrang Hogan as Manic, as Manic Monday takes it. Manic Monday, they went a close for second, just Barbican drove right on Q3, then Lord Kai and Flynn's bullet stuck on. Glen Fry's redlock ran on, Quake dropped away, so did another way. And that was a pretty emphatic win in the end for Manic Monday. He's won it by a good five lengths. For Padre Hogan, Barbican Grove second for Stu Gray, right on Q David Hooley third, Lord Cal for Padre Hogan again was fourth, and Molly Awesome or Alex Cherry ran later fifth.